and start making them blue. Your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things playing arc survival of all peeps and i've been going crazy with the war paint gameplay got a new paint job and in the stream yesterday i did some streaming mobility got a new paint job i like mobility's paint job a lot and oh there's a big white stripe oh crap oh there's a big white stripe on gameplay that i didn't see oh there's a couple there's something on his foot too so i'm gonna have to fix that up but yeah, I kind of really liked Gameplay's paint job, but then I started thinking, I don't know, I kind of wanted to brand all my dinos and do something a little bit different and maybe a little bit more colorful. Take a chance, you know, not necessarily go with like the all white thing. Let's take a chance, peeps. Let's go ahead and grab that. Let's grab the blue. And actually, let's grab some of a bunch of different colors here because we have some couple of stuff and things to do today. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. I want to start off as always by taking a little bit of a poop. Okay, now I feel better. Boy, my pants feel better. So I feel my pants just fit better now. And I also wanted to say thank you guys so much for all your support on all the ARC vids. It's been unbelievable. It continues to be. I kind of can't believe all the stuff and things have been going on in the channel lately, but yeah, it's just really awesome. Thank you guys so much. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash that like button for me. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more ARC stuff and things and other stuff and things, Mad Max stuff and things, Subnautica stuff and things. We're playing a bunch of different games. So, all right. So we got to fix gameplay up here. Let's go ahead and do that first. Come on, your gameplay. We got to die a saddle too, probably. But this right here is pretty bad news. So what's going on? Why, what, what's going on with this gameplay? Hold. Let's hold shift. A little bit hard to do sometimes. Let's go ahead and save his paint. Oh wait, crap. Yeah, we'll save it anyway. Gameplay. We'll call it game play three. We've got two already and a couple of different ones. So there, we got that one too. So, uh, all right, so we got gameplay. He's all fixed up, doing stuff and things. Also, just to FYI, I found an apprentice metal pick out and about doing stuff and things. And um, also been leveling up gameplay quite a bit. Check it out, peeps. He's level 196 now. Basically, spent a bunch of time in the stream. Really, in the stream, all we did was level up gameplay and then paint mobility. That's really all that we did. <laughs> that's, that's basically what went on. But um, 2,600 health now, 3,000 stamina. We got him up to 1,000 melee damage, and now we're at 142.5% movement speed. We're going to pump three more levels into movement speed. Then we're going to get health to 3,000, and then probably go back to melee damage for a little while. But down inside of here, I noticed while I was doing stuff and things earlier that Mr. Miola had logged out right here, just kind of on the ground. And I feel like he needs some blue. I feel like we need to get him a little bit blue. Um, I feel like he's bluish now. So let's just go ahead and start making him blue. I feel like we'll just kind of paint his face blue like this and his neck blue. Boy, this uses a lot of blue. Get him, get us all that blue. So <laughs> we're turning him into blueberry. Oh, like it's weird how it doesn't really go like super blue. You know what I'm saying? Well, we're going to get some stuff and things going on in here. There we go. He's got blue hands now. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll get his arm. We got a little bit of lag going on here today. There we go. Look at that. That's perfect. Let's get some more blue loaded in there. Let's get... Can we get zoomed in there really close? Oh, look right inside of there. Down in his chesticles area. Let's get his blue going on his face right here. And then... Oh, the, oh yeah. His back of his ears. This is going to be so great. Oh, he's pretty much probably going to be really glad that this happened. I feel like when he logs back in, he's just going to be like, probably not know what's happening. And then after a while, he'll just be like, really, he'll grow to love it. He'll like see himself in the mirror and he'll just grow to love that he's blue all over constantly. So, because we got, we got pranked a bunch by a bunch of different people. And I feel like it's time that we did some, some pranking of our own. All right. So he's blue. We'll close that. Now we can actually access his inventory, too. Let's go ahead and stick some blue dye right inside of here. And then let's just get... Let's get all the stuff blue. As well. Stupid text box! You are in the way. All right, we got that going. Let's get this armor blued up. Like so. Oh, yeah. We're really helping out. Grab that guy. Blue pants. 
This is kind of like falling asleep at a party with your shoes on. I don't know if you guys ever played that game, but we always played that if you're at a party and you fall asleep with your shoes on, it was like a big, it was no bueno. That was like, meant you were free, free and clear to like do all sorts of stuff. So should we die all this stuff and things too? Yeah, let's just die all the stuff completely blue. Like this. What else does he, what else, what else does he got on him? Uh, let's do his pike. And let's do his crossbow. Did we get this one? No, we didn't. There we go. Nail the dice that can't be stopped. Oh, he's got an axe in there? He needs a blue axe, too. And then probably a blue slingshot. I mean, why, why wouldn't you? You need a blue slingshot. And what else has he got that we could die? Oh, uh, his sickle. You need a blue sickle. Let's take a look at him. Oh, his neck, his head, his neck is not so great. All right, hold on. Let's see. Can we get underneath here and get his neck too? It's like really hard to see back there. Let me see. Is there a way we can get like in close underneath? No, we'll have to try to just do our best here. Let me see. Did that get it? Oh, better. He's got a little spot there, but I feel like we did a pretty good job. His fingers are a little messed up. He's not He's not perfect, but he's definitely blue now. Look at what we've done. So amazing. War paint is so great, and it just helps the community be better. More stuff and things are happening. So, all right, what I wanted to do first today, I think, is just get the three more levels on um, gameplay. Now, he's really taken a lot of XP to level up now. Um, we've gotten almost... What did he tame out at? I can't even remember now. 160-something? So we've almost gained 40 levels on him. So we have a lot. I mean, we've really been pumping a lot into him. But, all right, so I'm going to go out. I'm going to get the three more levels that we need to get him up to 150 speed. And then, really, at that point, guys... He's kind of back at the same point where Foulmouth was. So, pretty baller stuff and things right there. Um, we're good to go. We'll put our paintbrush away, too. Just over inside of here. Like so. All right, guys. I'm going to go get some levels, and then I will be our beast, peeps. Page, check it out. Level 198. Bam! 150% movement speed. Pretty great. I'm just saying. I feel pretty great. I feel like we've already got Foulmouth back. And our life is just doing really great now. Everything's just amazing. And yeah, so I came up to the North Island to get the, as much XP as we could. Yeah, uh, I do believe that I need to die this saddle. And I need, I think, to get... I think it's time that we get some flak armor. I mean, we have the ability to do all that stuff now. I'm pretty sure I've learned most of the engrams for it as well. Let me go down here and see. Do we have all the flak stuff and things? Yeah, we've learned all the engrams. You know what? It's time, peeps. I'm going to fly back to Poop City. And then we're going to maybe get some metal going and get some flak armor created. It's time to get to that next level. I'll BRBs, peeps. And we're back at the home base. Let's pop inside of there. Who's that? Who are you? It's Spumwack. Um, hey, Spumwack, what's up? Oh, Miola, you're so blue right now. Oh, don't be sad. All right, so over here, let's take a look and see. 
There's 183 medals inside of there. We may have enough just from the community doing stuff and things. Looks like we have some ramshackle stuff. Oh, man. Journeyman flak. Journeyman. Oh, wow. So we need, what do we need? Uh, the chest piece and the booties. We need a chest piece and a booties in order to get this done. Now, how much metal is this stuff going to need right here? That's only 22 ingots. That's 41. That's 120, 160, and 20. Basically 180 right there. There's 180 in here already. So, and then the other guys, um, we can see under armor, uh, metal. We need another 8 and another 13. Wait, hold, hold on. That's so funny, man. Check this out. The chest plate only takes 13. But because these are journeymen, they take 120 metal. That's so crazy, the multiplier on that. <laughs> So, all right, cool. Um, so, just need a little bit more. I think we have enough. Let me see. Is there even more metal inside of here? Looks like we were making some gasoline. And we got plenty of oil. You know what? Actually, we can do is probably go ahead and squirt some more hide in here. Light that bad boy back up. I don't know. Pop you out of there. And we'll just use the, um, the spark powder that's in here to go ahead and make some more gas. Um, and then in here, we'll just pop this out, pop this out. We'll squirt it all over onto this side like a soup. And, um, we do, it looks like, have enough metal to get all this done. But I don't just want to take all the community's metal and, uh, and suck it all up and use it all up. So, I think I'm going to grab, there's probably a doe dick around here. I do believe there's some community doe dick Let's Look at all these eggs, man! Who's not even harvesting all these eggs? Let's do, there's total, get, total eggs galore. Give me your egg. Give me this egg. They're stacked up! These guys, oh my gosh, so many dodo eggs. That's crazy. All right, thanks for the dodo eggs. Um, I'm going to take one of the dodo dicks. I'm going to go get some metal of my own. And I'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back. And you know, ladies and gentle peeps, a lot of times we use gamma. And I was just sitting here. I was doing some stuff, actually, on the other screen. And I came back into Ark, and it was night. And I've gone and gotten a bunch of metal. You can see we've got a bunch of metal inside of here now, cooking up. A bunch of metal inside of here now, cooking up. We're making some gasoline, too, to bring over to the farm. I'm talking quiet because it's nighttime. But look how amazing this game looks. Like, it really looks really great without Gamma. It's really crazy. It'd be nice to see some sort of, like, I don't know, light sources that that last forever because I feel like people don't use light sources in the game because it's like you have to constantly fill them up so like standing torches that I guess if you put fill the standing torch with spark powder it would last for a pretty long time like a few uh, it'd be a it'd be a long time it'd be days and days in games so that's a thing but still it would be neat if we could get I mean be able to use this dynamic lighting a little bit more because I don't know it just looks really great it's so amazing all right all right sorry I just uh, was having a moment all right, I'll be our beats, peeps. And we're back in the daytime. We're still cooking up. It's just been hanging out for a long time. Just waiting for all this metal to cook up. So we're still doing that. But um, I don't know if you guys remember on the last server, Zuljin found a ramshackle, ramshackle slingshot. And he really liked his ramshackle slingshot. He really, really loved his ramshackle slingshot. He loved it so much that he loved it with all of his heart. This is Zuljin's place. I don't know if you guys have seen this. He's done a really good... He has a house cat, by the way, named Two Cents. But here you can see Zuljin's residence. Let's turn off that. There we go. Zuljin's residence. And what we're going to do is inside of here, we are going to go ahead and place a storage box right here like so. And I found a ramshackle slingshot blueprint. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, peeps. We're going to leave it as a present for old Zuljin right over here. Put a sign right there. Let's go ahead and set the sign text. What's happening? Happy today, present! And a little slippy heart. There you go. What's happening? Happy today, present. And we'll give him the slingshot. And I know he's going to love that. I know he's going to love having his new ramshackle slingshot. Close the door to his house. We will head back over to the Poop City Forge stuff and things. You know, now that we've got the um, now that we've got the uh, the kibble farm, really gotta maybe talk to the guys about moving some dinos that are not kibble farm related. I know that um, D Max got a lot of stegos, um, but other actually, to be honest with you, other than that, there really isn't a lot of farming stuff over here. 
It looks like just some dodos and those stegos. But the lag is real here in Poop City, and it really is too bad. There's no really way to fix it. It's nobody's fault. There's no real way to fix it. Um, it's just because we are so enthusiastic and have so many amazing dinos. But all right, so we may just have enough here to go ahead and start the process of getting the ramshackle stuff and things done. So let me go ahead and squirt that in there. I think we've got a little bit. We got 97. That one's almost done. We'll squirt that in there. I think we did our due diligence as far as making sure all the stuff and things are are. are we we're not just taking community resources. So let's go ahead and craft the helmet. Oh baby, I'm so excited! Craft that guy. Craft that guy. Let's see, we got our helmet right here. There's our gloves. These are the big ones right there. Journeyman flak leggings. That's absolutely unbelievable. Oh, you know what? Just before we, just to make sure, do we have any of the blueprints for anything else in here? It looks like oh wow no we don't okay so we still need to do armor metal this and we need shoes as well so we'll get those guys crafted up as well nailed it it can't be stopped all right so turn off our fabricator we've got all of our amazing armor now let's go ahead and pull this off oh it feels good to be back peeps Oh, Tiny feel like a normal Tiny now. Oh, man. Tiny feels great. feels good to be back. But you know one of the things we got to do, though? We got to dye this stuff. Now, last season, we did all sorts of gold. But I think we're going with, like, a blue and white theme. More of a superhero type theme. Where Did I put my dyes away? Oh, yeah. I have them right on here. So, I think the next stage uh, uh, is going to be dyeing up all this armor and making us look like a super amazing Tiny. And we're back, and now Tyne is bluish. He's blue and white, so not all blue. So that's why he's bluish. And what I was thinking we're going to do, guys, is what I would like to see. I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is at Slipgator, at SL1PG8R. So you can follow me there if you'd like to. But what I was wondering if we could do is if you guys want to make your guys bluish too. If you dye your guys blue and white on your servers, or put Slipgator symbols on your stuff or anything like that, make sure you send me a tweet. And let me know that that's what you well, that's what's going on. So I think it would be really cool if anybody does that, because a lot of you guys do do that kind of stuff. So check it out though. We got our bluish pick, we got our bluish axe, we got our bluish pike, we got our bluish crossbow, and we got our bluish long rifle. Oh yeah, baby, that looks so hot. Look at the hotness. That's some hot bluish action right there. But then I was taking a look around, and you know, Terry's not bluish, not even a little bit. So we have to make a bluish Terry now. So, oh wait, do I not have my dyes on me? Oh, I think I have them on. Are they on here? No, wait, where are they? Did I put them away for realsies? Okay, so we've got to take Terry up to the house. And we've got to turn him into the bluish version of Terry. Hmm, hmm. I'm just thinking about it right now. All right, let's go. My, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do a little bit of this together, some of it together. All right, there's, we're running out of blue and white. We have very little left. We're probably going to have to make more dye. So, all right, let me see here. The first thing you do when you're making a bluish guy is, obviously, you paint him blue. Okay? All right, once you got your bluish guy, then you're going to go ahead and lay in some white. Oh, you know what? I wish this was more detailed. It really, it really is not. It's really not detailed at all. So, all right. So we're just gonna, we're gonna never mind that because it's already kind of white. So if it, if you have a part that's already kind of white, then then the rule is leave it white. That's the rule for if a, if there's a kind of white spot. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is try to lay in. Oh, is this bluish back here? It's like really hard to get your to necessarily to do this. You know, making a bluish pteranodon is not simple. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some try some white accents like maybe like so. Oh yeah, look at that. This is getting good now, peeps. Oh yeah, little white edge work. See, amazing, amazing, like that. Mhm, mm exactly. And we'll get a little bluish white edge on this side of the wing. Oh, this is turning out pretty pretty great. I'm excited. Like so. This is detailed work, ladies and gentle peeps. 
Let me see here. We gotta go out a little bit. Oh, it's looking hot. Look, you can't even get to like his whole wing. All right, here we go. Here we go. Can we do this? Really, 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 really easy. Oh, so, so detailed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see if we can do the other side. Let us see what we can do over here. So probably zoom in a little bit. And you just got to run your paint brudge right along the edge. Your paint brudge? Yeah, make sure you get your paint brudge right on the edge there. Like a so. Oh, I think we messed up. It's fine. We'll fix it. All right. And you're done. You've done some stuff and things, and it's amazing. Save paint. Blue. Pateri. All right, we'll just set that just in case something something happens. Look how amazing it looks! All right, hold on. Let's go for a little fly. Let's see. Oh, yeah! That's what's up, man. Blue Terry! He's totally bluish now, and he looks amazing! He looks so great! Oh, wait, there's one thing, though, we haven't got done right. We haven't got his saddle died. His saddle's all wrong. That's all wrong. All right, let's go ahead and see. I, I didn't use up all my dye. I have a couple left. A couple. Let's see here. We got six dyes left. What color is he mostly? See, he's mostly blue. He's kind of white. Let me see here. I think I know what we can do here. Let's go into here. Oh, the lag is real. All right. Let's go. Like that. With white stripity bits. Dying that item. Uh, where's his reins? Can we get white reins? There they are. Dying that item. All right, I know, I know. You're out. Let's go ahead with the blue. We want blue seat bits. I think that that's all we need, guys. I think this is done like this. All right, looks good. Let's sit, let's take a look. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, man. He's got a blue shadow now. We're killing it. And look at the white. Oh, that looks perfect. You know, I did take a look and see, by the way, the straps on the rebuildable saddles. I don't think... Whoa, hello. I don't think that these are diable. And wait. They're diabolical. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go ahead and grab this blue die just so I can show you this. Because I wanted to die mobility saddle, but I don't believe you can. If we squirt this on here and then we were to grab this, see, it doesn't work. So we don't have... We have buildable saddles, but we don't have diable buildable saddles. But now we've got bluish Terry... And we've got gameplay, rocking and rolling blue, and Tiny's bluish, and Mobility's bluish. Everyone's bluish. It's the most amazing thing that ever happened. And that's going to be it for today, ladies and gentle peeps. I hope that you guys had fun. We got our flak armor. We leveled up our guy. Everyone's bluish, even Mr. Miola. And I had a really good time hanging out with you guys today. I hope you did, too. If you guys liked the video, please don't forget to... Oh, whoa. Hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite as you see fit. May the stuff and things be with you.